carnation. Yes, sir. You look real nice tonight, sir. Thank you. You're changed, sir. Oh, your hand is so warm, Mr. Manninger. You come here every day, buy your flower. But do you see me? I really have to get going. I'm sorry. Now, do, do, do you look at me? Do you think keep she's the, a woman? Keep the chain. Full of love and needs. This is ridiculous. You think you're too good for me? You turn around and look at me, mister! You are, you're truly beautiful. I don't know why I've never noticed you before. I mean, I've noticed you before, but I used to think, forgive me, I used to think you were ugly. I never, I never really saw you. Let's go somewhere as private. You're the kind of girl I've dreamed of spending my life with. Come on, come on. You, you'd never have to work again. I could give you anything, anything you've ever wanted. I don't understand. I, I love you. But you didn't have no time for me before. You insulted me. You ignored me. But I, I was blind before. Now I can see. Now I love you. But will you love me till the day you die? Until the day I die. I'm so glad to hear you say that. No, 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 no. Stay right there. You look so fine in that light. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go now. <laughs> I think that's pretty good. That's 23 cursed objects that we've recovered. 23 mm -hmm. locked in the vault, safe and sound. We're doing pretty good. Yeah. That's still less than 10% of the objects in the manifest. It's just not fast enough. What do you want us to do, hire more staff? Maybe. Oh, sure. And watch them make off with the merchandise. You know, the trouble with evil is it's very tempting. It's very hard to find paragons of virtue such as ourselves. Yeah. Now, we just have to take it one step at a time. Okay. Then what do we go after today? Well, why don't we use a scientific method? Hmm? Here we go. One gold compact sold to Sylvia Unger. The address is in town, Jack. Come on, Helen. You're going to be late for school again. The bell's going to ring any minute. Fine, okay. Just worry about yourself. Dreaming about some guy? I don't dream about guys. Oh, come on, Helen. I don't dream. Are you calling me a liar or something? <laughs> hey, Helen, it's not worth getting upset about. It's not easy when your own sister calls you a liar. Man, that you and sure some piece of merchandise. But that sister of hers, God, how can I be the same family? 
Well, she must have come from the shallow end of the gene pool. <laughs> you want to come say that to my face? <laughs> All right. I've warned you guys before. Get off her case. Hey, come on, Scott. Lighten up. We didn't mean anything. Give it a rest, will ya? Yeah, all right. All right. Look, she may come across as a geek, but it's a package deal, and Joanne hates it when people bother Helen. Sorry, Helen. Will I see you tonight? Although I could see that fancy new dress you bought. Scott, not fill the top. Come on, it's the contents I'm interested in, not the pack. <laughs> I don't know why I put up with you. Bye. See you later. <laughs> Bye. Ah, what did you find out? Well, we've got some good news and some bad news. We found the apartment okay. Had a chat with the landlady. Bad news is she was killed two weeks ago. We got this from the newspaper office. She's on page three. Landlady said she was uh, pretty outgoing, had a lot of male guests. Yeah. There's not much here. Uh, hand me my glass, would you, Ryan? Yes. Look, this girl, she looks as though she's picking something up. What's she wearing? Looks like it's a high school jacket. High school jacket, huh? Yeah. Hey, Helen, what's doing? Leave me alone, Greg. I'm just trying to be sociable, all right? Just want to know if you're uh, going to prom or anything. Now, why would I want to waste my time watching dorks dance? Well, I mean, everybody's going, aren't they, you know? Not me. I've got better things to do, like watching paint dry. Well, what would you say if I asked you to the prom? <laughs> I would rather have root canal than go anywhere with you. Yeah? Well, with a face like yours, the only way to take you to the prom is on a leash.
Hi, Helen. For God's sake, leave me alone for five minutes, can't you? Anything you want. I, I love you so much. I know, I know. I'll love you to the day I die. All the years you made fun of me, all the jokes, all the teasing. That's all behind us now, my darling. Brag my hanky! I'll get it, don't worry. You think you ought to do that? It might start. No problem, I can get out. You'd better hurry. Uh, Helen. Please, Craig, please. I swear I need it. Just get it for me. I found it, Helen. I found it. Helen? Hey. Hey, I think I found her. Oh, there she is. Helen Mackey. Mm. Yeah, that's her. Jack, boy, I, I took a bad yearbook photo, but this is ridiculous. Now, Ryan, it doesn't really matter what she looks like, does it? We're after a compact. Okay, so we assume that she's got it. Mm. We... what? I go see her. She's in the book. I can say I'm from an antique store and uh, that I want to buy the compact. Great. And uh, Ryan, why don't you check out the school? I mean, if she hasn't got that thing, well, maybe she's given it to somebody else. Maybe she got in a locker. I don't know. Whatever you can come up with, huh? Right. Right. You know, all these books, I don't find a thing about that compact. Maybe I should call in on Rashid. He must be back from Cairo by now, huh? Craig, how could something like that happen to Greg? What a horrible thing. I was talking to him only a few hours before. Yeah. He was always fooling around. But a trash compactor, like, why would he get in there? Okay, I'll get it. Poor Helen. No, it's all right. It doesn't bother me. It was becoming a pain in the butt anyway. I'm not a bad bruh. How can you talk like that? Hey, it's the truth. Scott one sandwich? Are you Helen Mackey? Who wants to know? Hi, I'm Mickey Foster. I'm a buyer from an antique store. Oh, we're not interested. We got all the useless old things we need. <laughs> well, actually, I'm looking for a small gold compact. I was wondering if you'd seen it. What makes you think I'd want some gungy old hunk of junk? A compact? A gold compact? That could really be worth quite a bit of money. I said I never saw anything like that. Beat it! Helen! Great 
Mick. Helen, who was it? Helen? Nothing. Nobody. Finally. Hey guys, here's a scoop. There was an accident today on campus. One of the local jocks got killed. Any chance it really wasn't an accident? Well, yeah. You never know when there's a cursed object around. Did she have the compact? Well, she says that she doesn't, but from the way she reacted, I don't know. Well, we gotta find out. We gotta find out fast. After today, Mickey can't get anywhere close to her. I'd stand out like a sore thumb. I thought. What the hell did you do to him? I don't know what you're talking about. Craig, what did you do? I didn't do anything. The hell you didn't. You did something sick and disgusting to him. You made him crawl in front of the whole damn school. Hey, any crawling he did was his own idea. You humiliated him. You abused him. I don't, I don't know why he took it from you. Maybe it was love. Love? What would you know about love? I don't care what I have to do. I don't care how long it takes. I'm gonna find out what you did, and I'll get you. Russell, I'll tell you. Why did I never see you? But I said, I I didn't know what I was saying. Forgive me, please. Come with me, lover. like. I never felt like this before. I need you. I'm so glad to hear you say that, Russell. Especially after all those terrible things you said to me. Do you remember all those things, Russell? But that was before I saw you. Really saw you. I mean, I love you, Helen. I'll always love you. 
Until the day you die? Do you really love me, Russell? Say I'm beautiful. Say it! You are! I never knew that anything could be as beautiful as you! <laughs> my eyeliner. Helen, how come you're getting made up? None of your business. Are you going to the dance? That's great. You got a date. Why not? Why is that such a weird idea? It's nothing like that. I'm delighted. Who is it? Somebody special. Oh, that's terrific. It's about time you started dating. Did you want me to help you with your makeup? No. Well, if you do want some help, just call me. What a pretty compact. Is that gold? No, it, it's just cheap. It looks like gold. So, this date of yours, uh, do I know him? Is he from school? I want it to be a surprise. Um, he's... He's... He's, he's coming by tonight. That's great. Helen, I think you're gonna have a wonderful time. And if there's anything I can do. Help up there? Joanne? Are you still alive? Maybe I should uh, call a paramedic or uh, come up and give you some mouth to mouth? You wait right there. Okay, but you're gonna have to make this up to me. Make what up to you, Mr. Thomas? Mmm. You look beautiful. I've never seen anything like this. Of course you haven't. There's nothing like me anywhere. <laughs> oh, that's for sure. Jeez. Jack! I can't find him anywhere. And Helen's disappeared. Well, that may not mean anything. Let's just find him. All right, where do you look? Look at that, no blood. <laughs> OK. <laughs> all right, we're all set. Let's go. Right this way, my dear. Hi. Scott, Helen's got a date for the prom. That's great. How do I look? I think I look nice. Scott, do you think I look nice? Uh, well, you certainly will attract attention, Helen. Do you really think so? Am I as pretty as Joanne, Scott? Yeah. 
in a different way. Helen, do you think maybe we should go and check out your makeup? I want to see what my date says. He might really like it. Are you trying to tell me I look funny? Can't I do something my way, something I want to do? Who are you to tell me what to wear or how to look? Helen. Joanne, Joanne, don't worry about it. What difference does it make? Maybe her date will like it. Better go. go. Can't you wait for my date to show up? Please? We're late already. Come on. No, I can't wait give her a few more minutes. What can it hurt? Jack, I'm no, getting worried about him. I know. Listen, you said the compact had something to do with beauty and death. Yeah, as far as I've been able to find out, if somebody gets love struck by the compact, then they have to be killed. Brian. It, look, he could have been following somebody and gone out of some other door. He would have found a way to let us know. Yeah, you're right. And we have to get going. We're late already. We could leave money for you and your date to take a cab. Scott, am I prettier than Joanne? Well, you're up against some pretty stiff competition, Helen. Scott. Helen? Scott, we have to get going. Scott. What are you doing? This isn't very funny. No, no, this is just fine, isn't it, lover? <sighs> so she never bothers us again.
No, it's not. It's not Ryan. <gasps> Thank God. Oh, Jack. Well, we got to figure out our next move. I'll go look for Ryan. Wait, you, you think I'm going to leave you here alone? Why not? The compact wouldn't work on me, would it? Yeah, everything I've read, maybe it wouldn't. What about you? I'll just have to make sure I don't look at it, won't I? The prom. They'd be at the prom. See me again, did you? Give me the compact. Leave me alone. Helen. Get him away from me. Why don't you tell him? Tell him what's in store for him. How are you going to kill him? You're, you're going to have to kill him. You're going to have to kill him like you killed all the others. Scott, let's go. Okay, all right.
try this way. Helen, I love you. No. I know the perfect place. Helen, I love you. I've waited so long to hear you say that. We lost them. How much I've always wanted you? No, not really. But it... Every time you came to see my sister, I died a little bit inside. And you ignored me. I didn't mean to. Look, what difference does it make? We're here now. We're together. You don't have any idea what I've had to do to get you here. special to me. And you to me, my love. Oh, oh my God, there they are. Oh, oh my God. Scott! Oh with Joanne. She could never love you like I do. Scott, I don't want you to die. I don't want to lose you. you so much. But I know the only way I can have you is in death. Helen, don't! No. Scott, get no, down! No, go ahead, no! Why is this one so very hard? Did you find the compact? No. Better get you some medical attention. Yeah, come on, Ryan.
got to be out there. It's got to be. Well, then why can't we find it? I don't know, Mickey. Maybe someone else beat us to it. No! It's a possibility. No, it's out there! You know, Mickey, no one ever guaranteed that we're always going to be successful. This time, we just failed. Well, then, all of it was for nothing. All those people that died, that boy in the basement. Did you ever think we've been really lucky recovering all these things? The law of averages just caught up to us. And Ryan. A little rest, and I think he'll recover. I don't think I will. I just keep thinking of that thing out there. And more people are going to die because we didn't get it back, because we blew it. All these damned and cursed objects, they can't be destroyed, so it'll turn up again. You'll get it. What about all the people that are going to die because we didn't? <laughs> 